what's good with y'all all right so we better do a travis scott tutorial i really like this one i got a lot of stuff planned for the future if you haven't already make sure to follow my ig at the real trifreeze so yeah let's hop into this sample So y'all already heard the preview. The first thing we got in here is this main guitar right here. And the pattern for that went like this. Uh, so yeah, I just pasted that over. All right, so let me delete this and we're gonna make a pattern similar to it. The guitar I used was the Aya Nylon guitar. You can use any guitar at all. All right, so first off, let's start with building a minor triad chord. And then we'll make a cut right here. And then we're gonna paste that over uh, again. And then we're gonna take these middle notes and move them down to create a suspended chord. And then we'll just pitch these up too. So let's go ahead and invert this. Control, air key up. Let's just do Alt S, strum it a little bit, and then throw a half time on. With normal settings, just change the one bar to a one half bar. Turn the halftime on and then tick a note that will sound good with it halftime, you know? So yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. It's basically just a demonstration of how you can kind of get that sound. Taste my original pattern back. I just had an EQ. Then a guitar rig. You wanna go to the dusty vinyl preset and you wanna turn off the tape echo. And then I just added an RC20, just a vinyl 3 preset, and then a pretty limiter to turn it up a little bit. And then just another EQ to take out some harsh frequencies, uh, a pretty reverb, and then one more EQ. I just went here and rendered it out. I just clicked on this button down here, went to the drop down, disk recording, and then renders the WAV files. And basically what that does is it renders it out to a file like this, where you can just like chop it up and mess with it to make it on time. And that's what I did here. So yeah, after that, I just added a bass from Omnisphere. So yeah, that was the Growler Moog Bass. Then after that, I just added some pads with Arcade. And that pad was from Aura. It was just uh, this one right here. Not sure how to pronounce that. After that, I just added one more pad from Balkan Ether Orchestra. Uh, that was the Station X one right there. And then finally, I just added this flute. So yeah, that was just Passports. It was just this one right here. All right, so let me run through these effects. Just had a guitar rig, just a dusty vinyl preset, and then turn off the tape echo. After that, I had a shaper box, which appears black for some reason. I have no idea how to fix this. Basically, what it does is just pan it around. Then I have another shaper box um, that's also black. I don't know why. And basically, it just filters it a little bit. And I just had an RC20 uh, vinyl 3 preset. Then just an EQ to take out some of the lows. And then a reverb to kind of like stick it in the background. So yeah, that's the final sample.
so yeah really simple drums uh the drum kits i used was one of my boys drum kits y'all can go follow him on ig for that the download link for that is in the description and then just like the anyway well drum kit volume one for the 808 and kick but yeah the first thing we had in here was just a uh, snare So yeah, just to get a little bounce started, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was a drill type snare. Sound selection is really important when making these for sure. So after that, we got a rim in here. So yeah, really, really simple rim. You just want to add some extra ones in here for bounce, you know what I'm saying? And then like some right here, I just turned the velocities down on them. And then went to pan, and then just panned it left and right. And I just copied that over. That was a rare window rim. I had another snare. So really going through and adding all these snares and percussion and all that just to really get that bounce sound, you know what I'm saying? Just added your regular bounce right here and then just another one right here. Just really mess with the velocities. I changed it to like one six step right here and went really tight with it and then just faded that out like this. Uh, that was a mid-weight snare. And then I just added a hi-hat. And then I just copied all this over except for this one little roll right here. I use that in like everything. So let me just delete this and show y'all how to make those hi-hats. So first off, let's just start with just like a super simple pattern. Let me just paste it over. So yeah, once you got this right here, you just want to start filling it in. Let me add like a really deep roll down here. And let me add like a really, really tight roll. Fade that in. So you want to really mess with these velocities. Hold up. Let me bring those up and just kind of randomize those like that. paste that thing over man like all the way over here and then at the very end just add that switch up bring up the velocities fade that in so yeah that's that and then i'll just go over the effects one by one a half time just regular half time settings just turn the mix level down to like 28 percent and then an effect tricks to just add some reverses just put this on one eighth right here and then turn the mix level down to like 50 percent Added another EQ to take out like the really harsh tick right here and then a fresh air. So yeah, that was a classic hat. Let me just paste my original pattern back. After that, I added an open hat. So yeah, really, really simple hat. That's just the bra hat, apparently. And then I just added like a reverse hat right here. So yeah, basically to make that, what you're going to want to do is just paste your, whatever your hat is, clone it, click on reverse right here, adjust the start offset to like the middle of the hat, and then make sure your envelope is like this right here. Just make a pattern like this, just fade it in. After that, just add it an 808. Really not much to say about this at all. It's super, super simple, super spacey. Really don't want to overdo these drums at all. Felt like a Jack Boys gang gang sound, you know what I'm saying? Um, that was the Flow 808 from Anyway Well. You can get that in the Anyway Well drum kit volume one. And then I just had the Flow kick. Really not much to say about it, you know what I'm saying? Just added a kick in.